Welcome back to our post-game coverage. Georgia State with an exciting walk-off victory over the Appalachian State Mountaineers, 3-2 in nine innings. I'm John Morgan, now joined by head coach Greg Frady. And coach, first of all, a very exciting win. You never gave up, got that they got that run in the eighth, but man, getting that run in the ninth, Appalachian State has been very stingy with the hits, but you were able to manufacture two good runs to get the W. Oh, we, we did, and I uh, want to say thank God for Justin Jones today. He had three of our hits. They were all timely. They all mattered. He had the home run to give us the, uh, the, the energy and, and the lead. And then he had the clutch hit there in the bottom of the ninth. And it was just a, an amazing performance by him. Uh, he's been a great player, as you know, John. It's well, well documented. And, and people talk about Justin Jones a, a lot. But he, he has meant everything to our program. And today, in his final game at Panthersville, he played like a champion. Yes, he did. And that home run he hit, it was a laser. He really didn't kind of – he didn't really – elevated he just kind of got all that sent to left field you know right before that he hit a ball that hit the line that went over the bag that I thought was a fair ball and I, I still I even showed the umpire where the ball hit but the umpire did not want to make the, the change in the call and then Justin hit the home run which is even better than a double but I felt like uh, hey if you will the baseball god squared that up right there yeah I, I made the joke on air that you went to the umpire and said you know what I was wrong it was a foul ball <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not do that. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. All right, well, let's talk about Jordan Lee, though. Seven and a third innings, he gave you a great a great performance that you needed to uh, get the game into the later stages. I, well, I don't know if he's pitched a better game this year. This was a fantastic game. He, he, he pitched us into the eighth inning. He, he did such a marvelous job, and it's very hot on the field. I'm sure. And uh, to, to throw over 100 pitches like he did and then to continue to compete for us. You know, Jordy is the type of pitcher that uh, when he gets off early and gets, gets some momentum and, and gets, some, uh, gets some rhythm and timing and just has some success, he is so difficult to beat. Um, as a pitcher and today on senior day he's another senior that rose to the occasion and I, I really had a good feeling last night at home about him going out there today and really you know after Hunter gathers through on Friday I was thinking to myself I just I'm excited about Jordan Lee getting a chance to go out and pitch and he pitched he seemed to settle down he got in a little bit of trouble in the first three innings gave up lead off uh, allowed the lead off hitter to get on both the times and only once did it, did it come back and haunt him but once he got to the fourth and fifth he certainly settled down yeah, he's a pitcher that needs to find his, his way and his rhythm in the early part of the game. But if he does, he'll settle in and then he'll go deep in the game. And he did it today. He's done it before. The, the great thing about today is we supported him uh, and helped him. I, I, don't, I don't think – I think Tanner Thompson was the game-winning pitcher. He was. But Jordan Lee is really the winner today. He, he really helped us win that baseball game. And I want to credit uh, Tanner. So many seniors making contributions today to help us win. That's how you do it. And but the big hit came from a freshman, Ryan Glass, and I, I made the comment on air that he we just need to fly ball in this situation. So what does he do? He puts one through the gap on the on the left side of the infield. Well, Ryan has probably been one of our hottest hitters, no doubt about that, and he has emerged at the end of the year. And with Brandon Bell out right now, who was a middle of the order hitter, we needed someone to step up, and he has stepped up, and it's been clutch. He had a couple balls in the game uh, earlier in the game that mattered, and uh, and hit hit them good. He's hit home runs lately. It's just been great to watch his development and uh, transformation. I'm happy he got that hit, and I'm happy we walked off, and I'm happy we won. I don't know what's happening in other parts of the the uh, the Sun Belt, but if it goes well, we can be in a good position. Well, I can give you a little bit of a spoiler alert. The Arkansas State Red Wolves have already lost today, so you guys are in 10th place in the Sun Belt Conference. Man, that is so good because I want to be in control of our own destiny. And yesterday, I, I think it almost literally ripped, not my heart out, the veins, the aorta, and everything else that was in my body. I, I, I literally was just having problems last night because it hurt so bad. But then to bounce back here and to win a game like this, and it feels so good, and I'm sure their heart feels ripped out right now. This is Sun Belt baseball. This is what it really is. It's hard, and it, there's a lot of down moments, and then you have that one opportunity, and then you cash in. It was certainly uh, great to win today, and I'm happy that Justin Jones, going to be a four-time All-American, I'll, I'll make that call right now, is, is going uh, to uh, help us win today. Three hits, and I hope he's listening. I, I'm happy that Justin Jones came to the ballpark today. <laughs> well, Panther fans are happy he comes as well. You know, such a great performance. Three for four was his line, final line score, two RBIs, a run scored, and he's now 
tied for fifth, I believe, in terms of run scored in Georgia State's career. He needed one more to keep that off to himself. And that's pretty much the story. He, got, he did well, gave you what you needed, and you got the win. And now you're, as you said, in control of your own destiny, heading that final series down, in, down against that squad from Statesboro. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, we'll, we'll, I can't even think about that series right now. Right. I mean, I just really want to enjoy today. Baseball is so hard, and you have to try to find your wins. Uh, one of the things I want to say before I get off the air, we had a, a ton of people out here today and a lot of support from parents, fans, friends of the program. We're having a, a, a after contest uh, celebration, a tailgate. Uh, they've cooked for their players and coaches. I, I can tell you, man, the taste of that food is going to taste completely different. And my, <laughs> my tea will be sweet uh, after this. So we, we really needed that. Feels good to win. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us. And I uh, hope you and your family have a happy Mother's Day today. Thank you. And I want to wish all the mothers out there happy Mother's Day. A ton of them were here in our park today. And I think our boys gave them a nice gift. Well, they certainly gave them a thrilling gift. Thank you very much, Coach.